Hello traders and welcome back to another video. Uh, by the end of this video, you'll be able to create a trading plan that is effective and that actually gives you the best shot at trading it consistently and for the long term. If you're not subscribed here, take one second to go and hit that subscribe button. Um, we're making three videos a week from now on and um, yeah, hopefully you can get involved in it. If you want to see any other videos, put them in the comments below and I'll be happy to reply to you and add them to the list. Um, but before we get into the video, uh, if you want to watch uh, any private streams that I'm now doing, um, we're doing them every single day at uh, 6.45 a.m. So yeah, if you want to join those, you can do. Um, we trade crypto, we go over trade happy stuff, we work on the business, we do like, loads of different things. Um, so make sure to get involved in that. You can do that by hitting the join button, which is just below this next to the subscribe button. Yeah, making your first trading plan. Five tips. Uh, we do have a bonus tip at the end as well. Hopefully you like it. Let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. Tip number one that a lot of traders don't do, but I think is absolutely massive to being able to follow it consistently. You can have a good plan without this, but the, the key to finding a personalized plan is writing down your strengths and weaknesses. If you write down your strengths and weaknesses, you understand what you're good at, what you're not good at, and you can build a trading plan around this, right? There's no point taking a random strategy from a YouTube video and just sticking it in your trading plan and that's it, right? You don't know if you're going to be able to follow that, right? You might not have the discipline you might not have the patience you might not have blah 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 which means that you can't actually follow that plan or that uh, strategy that you found online whereas if you create a strengths and weaknesses list you can say okay i'm really really good at short-term focused little bursts of uh trading so why would i why would i trade a swing trading plan that doesn't make any sense if you're really, really good at short-term discipline, patience, um, and following something for a short little burst of time, then just trade a, a scalping strategy. There's no point in, in having a strength and then not using it, right? So this is something that I think a lot of traders should do. Number two is make it yours. What I mean by this is actually personalize it, right? So with that strengths and weaknesses list, you can then personalize your own trading plan to make it yours. I think that every single trading plan out there needs to be personalized. Otherwise, you're not gonna follow it. As soon as it starts going bad, you're just gonna blame the person that made the strategy and not follow it. it it's, it's one of these things where it needs to be personal to you so that you actually want to follow it because otherwise you know you're not going to have a connection to that strategy and you're not going to see it through those bad times every single strategy is going to have a losing streak of some kind and those are the losing streaks where you either say this is my strategy and it works or you say this strategy is garbage i'm going to go and find another one and then you just go down and down and down and down and down and continue doing what you're doing, right? So make it yours. Now there's other ways to make it yours, um, which I'm going to get on to uh, after the, after this tip. Um, but yeah, make it yours. The next one is a step-by-step -step plan. So a lot of traders write down their trading strategy. They write down their routines. They write down... Um, risk management or whatever they want to write down write down a step-by-step -step plan right so what do you do every single day so wake up at 6 30 go for a walk do a workout um, meditate listen to an audiobook open my charts at this time open up the five minute chart look for this if you don't have this look for this if you have this look for this if none of this is happening, close the charts. If everything is happening, do this, then do this, then do this, then do this, then do this. Right? So if you build a step-by-step -step plan for yourself, it's going to be a lot easier to actually follow it because you're, 
you're writing down everything that you have to do and all you have to do is just follow it it's super super easy but all you have to do is every single day is follow that step by step plan super super basic next one trading tips this one's helped me a lot so in terms of trading tips what i don't mean is general boring trading tips like follow your trading plan make sure that you're following your risk management uh don't trade emotionally right that's just boring right write down personal trading tips that you have found useful okay for me personally some of the trading tips that i've kind of got for my trading plan is to not scale in whenever i've scaled in in the past it's always gone badly so don't scale in right it's pretty simple um if you're i don't know uh if you tend to open your charts late at night or later on in the day and it always goes badly right you either place trades that you shouldn't you over leverage you close trades that you should be in then don't trade later on in the day right write that down as a tip don't open charts later in the day it's pretty simple right so write down trading tips that are personal to you and it is really really going to help if you don't know these things then it's going to come with time and you should be looking out for these things next one is routines and habits now this can be routines outside of trading so wake up do your workout eat, uh, drink um i don't know a protein shake or something go for a walk listen to an audiobook whatever it is that's your routine outside of trading you can also have a routine inside of trading right so that's your step-by-step -step plan write down your routine inside and outside of trading and i guess it's a different thing to actually follow it but i'm not going to be getting onto that um write it down at least to give you the best chance of actually doing it and a little bonus tip is ignore other traders right there's gonna be a trader out there that does not like your trading strategy that's just how it is there's gonna be at least one trader that doesn't like your trading strategy and they are probably going to tell you that you're stupid for doing it they're probably going to tell you it doesn't work they're probably going to tell you why are you trading that you're just going to lose money and uh yeah that's just how it is right everyone thinks that they're right well if everyone's right everyone will be making money so ignore all the traders if they're trying to tell you that your strategy doesn't work if they're trying to tell you that you're stupid for trading it or you should be trading this this is the magical strategy that you should be trading ignore them right you can just say um you know that's amazing i'm, I'm trading my own strategy thanks for the advice um but yeah i'm gonna ignore you so it's it, it is it is hard to do um it is hard to do but you know it's either you ignore them or you go onto a different you trade the, the their magic strategy but you'll, you'll just get another trader that says why are you trading this magic strategy you should be trading this magic strategy it's the same thing um yeah <laughs> so i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you found value in this video um i hope you have an amazing day and um yeah if you found value from this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to join the YouTube membership and get access to private streams. Um, if you want to see any other videos, drop it in the comments below. I'll be happy to uh, get back to you on those. And uh, yeah, happy trading, happy traders. Have a good day. I will see you in the next video.